We come to you from downtown Los Angeles. I'm Ed Cohen with the former Chicago Bull, Jay Williams. And Jay, once you beat the traffic, this is one of the great stops in the NBA. When you step your foot on that purple and gold floor, you know you have to bring your A-game. Plus, you're trash-talking A-game to all the celebrities sitting courtside, Ed. It's the definition of showtime. Let's do this. The Portland Trailblazers win the opening tap. Lillard to McCollum. To Whiteside. No, oh, I missed a short one there. James into the front court. He'll run the offense. It goes down. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. It's Portland ball. Lillard to McCollum. Lillard. His first effort off the mark. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. The pass taken away by the Lakers. It goes to the right side to James. Oh, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. It's not a travel if it looks pretty. McCollum with the basketball. Now down six. Baysmore with the slam. An easy two. Get back on defense. Jay, Magic and Kobe each won five titles. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? <laughs> LeBron James wins one championship in L.A. That means he will set himself apart. He will have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. And the nice finish at the rim. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Defense. Portland has the Defense. ball. LeBron into the front court. They lead it. Four-point game. Yes! And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Unable to connect on the free throw. Goes to the left side. C.J. McCollum. Wide open look. Won't go. It didn't hurt him this time. But defensively, you got to prevent him from even catching the ball to begin with. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there. But they say no foul. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. To McCollum. C.J. McCollum missed his first. That one goes. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel. at home he was ready right at the tip what a first half he's having he came out out of the gate attacked found ways to get to the rim now look how easy the game is coming to him to ken Bazemore. slams it down mm-hmm we call that get your money and put it in the bank <laughs> To James. Oh, ferocious slam inside. 
Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Cook to bring it into the front court. His guys leading by 14 and finishes strong. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Los Angeles, they have it. Stops it down with authority. Like my old coach used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's way too easy. Just keep attacking. It's easy money. McCollum into the front court. Final minute, first half. To Ken Bazemore. Nothing going here on that drive. Five on the shot clock. To McCollum. Beyond the arc for three. And C.J. McCollum, zero hesitation, knocks down the three. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Turns and slams it down. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Jack Collins at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Career mark of 64%. And he missed the free throw. Jack Collins with the block. He'll let one fly from half court. That's it for the first half. So far, it's been all Lakers. The Lakers certainly didn't have a problem. Player of the half. I like this choice because he really put on a show in the opening half. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. LeBron into the front court. The advantage is 13 points. I'm here, I'm here. Hassan Whiteside, huge block. Just erasing mistakes left and right. McCollum to Ken Bazemore. Lillard. D has got it. Damian Lillard. Small sample size, but making the most of it. He's one for two. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. LeBron James on tip chip. Lakers ball. That kid can block out the sun, man. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back, everybody communicated, everybody pointed. It was just better offense than there was defense.
dumps it down with authority. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big-time finish. Here comes the screen. Lillard for two. Shot by Lillard, no good. Mm. This game is all about the small victory, so the execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. Anthony Davis. Better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. Underutilized, underutilized, underutilized. Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of them. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Damian Lillard just off the mark. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. Mm, I remember my high school coach said one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. Lillard. To McCollum. Portland has four to shoot. To McCollum. Here's a chance from long range. Ah, that's a 24-second violation. Tough mate through traffic. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Trailblazers take over. Lillard, work it down to Nurkic. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Out. Big finish at the rim. That'll do it. Third quarter complete with the Lakers in command. the Blazers with the basket. It's Lillard for two. Shot by Lillard, no good. Oh, I like that. You got the defense rotating from side to side. They're even recovering late, but still you got to make that one. And count the basket. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ballgame. McCollum to Lillard. Has a look. Deep two there, won't go. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones.
throws good as they continue to widen their lead. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Lillard. to shoot trying to cash in jumpers good there you go i like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources los angeles has the basketball count the basket at the rim you know it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me he said if you ever get in a fight you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand correct you'll probably break a finger but if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. A oh, big finish at the rim. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. Anthony Davis sends it away. The monster stuff. The assist from number 11, Avery Bradley. Deep three at the buzzer. The Lakers get the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Lakers put on a show in a blow. Player of the game. And what we have here are highlights worth a thousand words. There's no question he stood out amongst the rest in today's matchup.